shit. That's my point. Test the ball is over, call it close, but we all know what this is gonna be. You came to fail the test, you met the best, expect the chest, but got monopoly. I came and bought you out, I knocked you out, I cropped you out. Guys, right behind me, I have a 2020 Supra. It's in for a full body wrap. This is our good friend, uh, Freddy. Uh, he just dropped out the car to us. What? Whoa, 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 is that Christian? That's Christian. Look at Christian. <laughs> <laughs> Christian's back, fam. He's visiting us. He's actually going to be working with us again. No. Doing all of our photos. Oh, <laughs> uh, We're doing a crazy livery on it. Um, it's going to have a full print. Um, but first things first, guys, is we're going to start dismantling it, getting it prepped. And, get, and then after that comes the wrap, like always. So we just got done taking apart the Supra. Wanted to talk about this. Freddie's been a customer of ours for a very long time. And I don't even like saying the word customer because over time he's evolved into a friend, a personal close friend, and he's like family to our company. You know, he comes around all the time. It's the third car we've wrapped for him. So I wanted to mention that. Um, let's go through some of the projects we've already done for Freddie. And also in this time frame, you also get to see kind of where our business has changed and how it's changed and how it's evolved. Um, Freddie originally brought us a Mustang. I believe we did it in holographic. It was like the S550 Mustang, which I think was like a 2016, somewhere in that era. Um, and then he brought us a Shelby Mustang a little bit later that we did a brush wrap on. And now we have a Supra here. So um, Freddie's no stranger, or stranger to the channel, no stranger to our shop. He's always been around. The shop crew always hangs out uh, together with him. So again, you know, we've developed this relationship out with him over time. It's been great. It's really cool to, to be, um, brought into these builds repeatedly. It lets me know that my staff is doing the right things, that we're doing the right things, um, that people who are customizing their cars and that really care about the details like Freddie does, continuously brings his vehicles to us. So this is kind of a introduction, reintroduction to our, our friend Freddie here. I'll put up his Instagram. I appreciate you, Freddie. Thank you so much for trusting us over and over again to work on your vehicles. It means a lot to us and I just want to give you a shout out. What up guys? Just to recap on what I did yesterday. Adrian. <laughs> recap of what I did yesterday guys. Um, I finished up the roof and I finished up the trunk. Pretty simple, those panels weren't too difficult, pretty straightforward. Um, but today is gonna be a little bit more challenging because I have to wrap the both sides all in one shot because it is a printer wrap, it has a design to it. And I can't just cut up panels like how I did on the other Supra. So um, I'm gonna show you guys how to do that process. It's not too difficult, but it is gonna be a little bit more challenging just because that Supra has that wide hip. But um, you know, I'm pretty sure we got this, so. to doing a graphic wrap you got to understand there's a lot of elements that can go wrong uh, if you're overstretching things for instance this line right here it's a printed straight line but as you heat and you mold this material you could wave it so what David's trying to do is make sure that he's keeping things consistent all the way through and that's not only with this line that's with the graphics all the way through so you got to be very careful with the heat the amount of heat that you use and um, I guess it's just it's a it's a different process than laying a colored film is what I'm trying to get at if you're just laying a colored film You're just laying a colored film. 
it's a lot more, it's a lot easier. So give David some props in the comments below because he's about to kill it. Because if he doesn't, today will be his last day on the vlog. put some masking tape on the headlights just so that when I wrap the bumper it doesn't stick to it and I can cut on this without having to worry about scratching up the headlights so if you guys are wrapping a car get masking tape it really helps out we're spraying water in here because we don't want this dirt to be flying up. Obviously, he doesn't have any like crazy things exposed, like air intake or, you know, if he did, then we would cover that up with a bag. But um, yeah, we're just giving it a light mist. That way when we lay this bumper, it'll be good. We won't have any dirt in here. So minimize dust. Up, or I didn't finish up, I'm finishing up the front bumper. I'm just doing the final trimming. Um, today I'm gonna be focusing on the rear, which shouldn't be too bad. I feel like we got the front bumper out of the way, which is kind of the more difficult things about the wrap. Um, luckily, the person who designed it kind of avoided all of these little areas where it should line up on other panels. Um, it's kind of more of an abstract wrap, so it's not gonna be like super like exact 100%. We can have like little things that don't align 100% of the way, but it's still gonna look good. Um, so that's what I got going on today. on the wing today um, the uh, what is it called the street hunter wing it's not too complicated Blech. 
it's not too complicated um, but it is a little bit trickier because we have a design that we have to do on it and it's like you have to do it in a lot of pieces like you can't just like do it all in one it's very um, it just has a lot of shapes to it you can't one piece everything obviously you know our film is just a flat piece you can't just make a complete circle around stuff so um, I have no idea how I'm gonna do this but we'll see how it turns out waiting on the hood print it's been maybe about a week we kind of been off of this project because we were doing SEMA projects and we just been busy with other stuff but luckily all of the uh, print is now here this is probably gonna be the hardest part of the car because um, it's such a big piece and then on top of that we just have to line up a little bit of stuff and if we stretch too much then the lines can get a little distorted but um, other than that we have to just finish off the hood and then we have the two side blades on the side where the uh, door's at and that's pretty much it. So anyway, say hi to Anthony. on this project here, uh, fully wrapped in a digital print film. A little different than what you see on the channel normally. Um, usually we're doing solid color changes, but in this case, we got tasked with the job of doing a full printed design. And I think it came out perfect. The one thing that sets us apart from other shops, I think when it comes to this, is we come from the color change background. So when we're doing these digitally printed wraps, we're wrapping them just like you would do with the color change, meaning we're trying to get rid of all of the old color. In this case, the old color was silver. Is that what it was? It was silver. See, I forgot because you can't even see it anymore. The next thing that we're going to do after the wrap, since the wrap has been completed, is we're going to ceramic coat the entire car. It's going to give it more gloss, but it's also going to make it a lot easier to maintain throughout the process of owning this wrap or having this wrap on the car. It's going to protect it. It's also going to make it very easy to maintain, meaning that any dirt, any debris, anything that gets on there, bird poop, whatever, is not going to stick to it. After it's coated, there's just a protection barrier that this Ceramic Pro actually offers. Or the Ceramic Pro does to the film. It's amazing. So ceramic coating is something that's available here at Premium now. You can do it to your paint, you can do it to your interior, you can do it to your wheels, you can do it to your brake calipers, you can do it to your exterior of your vehicle as well as your wraps. 
and it makes a huge difference. So if you're unfamiliar with ceramic coating, go and educate yourself on it or come to the shop. We'll help you, educate you. We'll give you some tips, some tricks, some, things, some of the reasons why you should do it. But listen, if you're gonna spend all the money to get your car wrapped, like this guy did, get it coated. So that's the next thing we're gonna do. Gonna send it off to Pat. Pat's gonna take care of the ceramic coating and then we're gonna deliver it. That's my car? Ah, oh, shit, I wanna see. No, hold on. Hold <laughs> I'm trying on. to look in the camera no, lens right no, now. No, no, can't see it, no. Tell him to turn around. Oh, he's pulling it up. Hold on, you gotta pull it up. Dude, my heart. Ooh. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Right there. So there? So right, there you go. Dude! <laughs> oh my god. This is one of our oh, hardest livery wraps. This was one of the hardest we've ever done. Really? David was stressing. Oh my god. You guys killed it. It looks perfect. Blew it out of the park. I love that the banner too and everything. It's like a video game. Yeah. <laughs> Need for speed in real life. Yeah. This is crazy. What do you think? It looks fucking sick. Yeah. Trippy. I like it. I lied to you, huh? Yeah, you didn't even know. I knew it was yours when I saw the picture. <laughs> but there's no way there's another Supra. So is that the first one with the, the letters, the Japanese letters? Yep. Yeah. You're oh, the first. Awesome. Yeah. It says bacon in Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> the bottom one says Toyota Supra. That's crazy. What's up, bro? What do you think? I'm speechless. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Still looking at it, huh? Yeah, oh, yeah there's just so much going on. Look at that. That looks like it's from the game, like, bro, bro. I know. You know how hard he, he, he needs to add it to the game.